Thank you very much. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to you all as we wish that, as we witness the handover of assets that were corruptly acquired now being returned to public entities and county governments. This event marks a significant milestone in our nation's fight against corruption. The efforts made and the progress achieved in promoting good governance are undeniable and highly commendable. The government remains resolute in eliminating opportunities for corruption and abuse of office and in ensuring that the corrupt do not enjoy the proceeds of their illicit actions. I recognize the good governance I recognize that good governance is a key factor in the success of the bottom-up economic transformation agenda. Governance is crucial for fostering an environment conducive to socio-economic transformation. To realize our aspirations, we must all strengthen our commitment to the rule of law, enhance access to justice, promote national values and principles of governance, and protect fundamental rights and freedoms, enforcing zero tolerance to corruption is essential for the attainment of all these goals. To achieve this, the government is committed to further strengthen our anti-corruption institutional framework. In this regard, the enhanced implementation of the national ethics and anti-corruption policy Sessional paper number two of 2018 is critical. Our aim is to significantly reduce the severity of corruption and the prevalence of unethical practices by providing a comprehensive framework to promote integrity and combat corruption in a sustainable manner. And that is why I believe in building the institutional capacity of EACC to forestall corruption before it happens and to deal with the challenges of corruption in a manner that is a whole of institution approach. I acknowledge the notable milestones achieved by the EACC in the fight against corruption, particularly through the recovery of corruptly acquired assets and unexplained wealth. Such successes play a vital role in deterring corruption by demonstrating that in the end, corruption is not worth the trouble, as the corrupt ultimately lose everything they have taken from the people. <clears throat> 